in your course principles of food science and nutrition before discussing the palatal system i have told you earlier that what is food food is a substance that is composed of macronutrients micronutrients water organic acid pigments enzymes flavoring substance and other organic constituents these constituents are vary in different quantity in different food that's the simple thing you must be knowing that and these uh, amounts are present as a particles of various sizes so these particles as are present in various sizes so depending on the particle size or size of the molecule in the mixture these substances are classified as true solution colloidal solution and coarse suspension first is true solution true solution is a homogeneous mixture of two or more different substances it is composed of two parts first is solute and another is solvent solute is a substance that is generally present in a lower quantity and it is dissolved in the other substance that is called the solvent and it is generally present in a larger quantity in true solution iron or molecules are generally smaller than 1 milli micron when you talk about the example of true solution the solution of sugar in water is a example of true solution chini ko pani mein daliye this is the true solution that is a homogeneous mixture you can't differentiate between water and sugar after you dissolve it solution of salt in water is also a true solution namak ka ghol bhi ek true solution hai kyunki agar aap isko mix kar loge then you will not be able to separate it that is the homogeneous mixture this is the figure showing you the difference between solution colloid and suspension on the particle size next is suspension suspension are dispersion of coarse particles in the liquid the particles are generally large in size that is larger than 1 micrometer or micron many suspension in food contain substance which are larger than 1 micron size the example of suspension is starch and cold water paste ye uh, suspension mein kya hota hai agar aapko continuous agitation karte rehna padega to get it dispersed in the solvent agar aap isko chhod doge then coarse suspended particles settle down ho jayenge because of the gravity of gravitational force because kyon settle honge because of the larger size of the particles as i have told the example of suspension is starch ye aapne ghar mein bhi aap logo ne kiya hoga corn flour mostly use hota hai ghar mein to agar aap iske ghol ko banaoge then continuous agar aap isko agitate khilate rahoge then it will form a suspension lekin agar aap isko thodi der chhod doge then you will you will notice that this will settle down at the bottom of the container jo jin logo ne nahi kiya hai wo aap ghar mein bhi karke dekh sakte ho that it forms a suspension next is the colloidal system between the particle sizes of the solution and suspension lies the colloidal system these are characterized by the particles ranging between 1 milli micron and 100 milli micron it can go up to 1 micrometer in diameter this colloidal system have the two phase first is continuous phase and another is discontinuous phase or dispersed phase dispersed phase is also called internal phase or discontinuous phase that is generally present in a smaller quantity and the phase in which it is getting dissolved the is called dispersing phase or external phase or continuous phase next is the yeah, this continuous phase extends throughout the system and surrounds the this 
first phase completely. Um, we know that protein, carbohydrate, fat is a major portion and in the food and these are present in the particles of colloidal dimension. The characteristic of colloidal particles are they are hydrophilic in nature and both hydrophobic in nature. Those which are hydrophilic in nature are attracted by water. That is, they are water loving and get dehydrated easily. And the hydrophobic colloidal particles are water repelling. The difference, the characteristic that is, agar hydrophilic hai, agar hydrophobic hai, ye kyun aisa hota hai? कोई कोलाइडल पार्टिकल्स हाइड्रोफिलिक होते हैं कुछ हाइड्रोफोबिक होते हैं बिकॉज ऑफ द पोलर ग्रुप्स दैट आर प्रेजेंट ऑन द कोलाइडल पार्टिकल्स अगर चार्ज पार्टिकल्स आर प्रेजेंट है तो दैट इज हाइड्रोफिलिक इन नेचर एंड अगर नॉन पोलर ग्रुप्स प्रेजेंट है दैट दैट इज द हाइड्रोफोबिक इन नेचर यू सी इन द फिगर ऑल्सो एंड वेन यू टॉक अबाउट द फूड सिस्टम इन फूड The, these are in generally of four types that is soul, gel, immersion and foam that I will discuss one by one. In soul, in soul dispersed phase is solid and continuous phase is liquid. Means try to remember in this way that SO for solid is getting dispersed in L for liquid, liquid phase. And the viscosity of soul may range from liquid Example is skimmed milk to extremely viscous tomato. Uh, one a good example of soul is tomato ketchup. Sab jaante honge tomato ketchup. That is an example of soul. Agar aap iske viscosity ko baat kare soul ka, to generally depend on the concentration of the solids and temperature of the soul. Agar concentration jada hoga, to viscosity jada hoga. That is the directly proportional. And agar temperature jada hoga, to viscosity kam hoga. And the viscosity of a soul can be adjusted by adding more liquid. The souls have flowing properties. They flow more readily at higher temperature than at a lower one. Why higher temperature temperature pe flow karega? Because viscosity is ka kam ho jayega. Sometimes a soul may change into a gel when the system is viscous and there is a drop in energy level. But agar ap soul ko cooling kar doge. So it can convert into a gel. That is the example jelly. Jelly ko agar aap heat karoge, that will convert into soul. But agar aap isko cool karoge, so that will convert into a jelly. Other example of soul is milk gravy, gravy, milk. This all we use in our day to day life. Sauces, that is the example of soul colloidal system. Next is gel. In gel colloidal system, dispersed phase is liquid and continuous phase is solid. It is also called reverse soul. Reverse soul kyo bolte hai? Kyoki aap isse gel soul mein convert ho sakta hai. Mainne aapko, as I told in earlier slide, that agar aap isko heat, this one is the last slide that I have told you earlier, that gel is formed here. When gelatin is dissolved in warm, when jelly is formed, gelatin is scattered into liquid and heated to make a gel. And why this are they don't flow, but soul colloidal system flow. Why ये flow नहीं करता है जल? जली आप लोगों ने सभी कोई ने देखा होगा कि ये flow नहीं करता है. It have the bond properties. Why? Because of the bound water. Some of the liquid is absorbed on the surface of the solid molecules because of this bound liquid and gel has some structure. So it doesn't flow. The remaining liquid is trapped in the solid three-dimensional network of the gel. And this gelling agent may be polysaccharide protein. Like that, soul and gel are reverse collateral system and can be changed from one type to another.
these are the that i have discussed you earlier these are the example of soul yes gel colloidal system curd jam jelly caramel custard Sure, these are all gel colloidal system. Next is foam. In foam colloidal system, dispersed phase is gas and continuous phase is liquid. A foam is a dispersion of gas bubbles in a liquid or semi-solid phase. It can be of two types: gas in liquid and gas in solid. Beaten egg white and sugar foam is a gas in the liquid. dispersion when it is baked it becomes a gas in the solid dispersion example meringue to form a foam the energy is required to overcome the surface tension of the liquid and stretch it into thin film which surrounds bubbles of gas because the dispersed phase is gas example of foam is or egg white cream that it is wiped into a foam the protein collect at the air water interface get denatured or coagulated by the energy used for whipping and helps in making the foam stable foam used in cookery include include egg white egg yolk gelatin and cream they contribute towards lightness volume and texture of the product these are the example of foam colloidal system wiped egg white wiped cream aap logo ne sabhi ko ne dekha hoga this is the for solid foam so cake fluffy omelet next is in colloidal system is the immersion in which the liquid is the dispersed phase and continuous phase and it is of two types that is oil in water immersion in which droplets of oils are disposed in water example are mayonnaise and whole milk next is the water in oil immersion in which droplets of water are disposed in oil the best example in is butter This immersion are also classified on the basis of stability as temporary immersion, semi-permanent immersion, and permanent immersion. The French dressing is the example of temporary immersion. Milk is semi-permanent immersion, and homogenized milk permanent immersion. This is the figure showing you the symbol immersion type: oil in water and water in oil. These are the examples of salad dressing. mayonnaise margarine butter mayonnaise is a also example of complex dispersion because it is an immersion a soul and a foam combined in one milk is also example of complex dispersion because more than one phase is dispersed in liquid milk is a solution of lactose in water an immersion of fat in water and a soul as milk protein disposed in water now the formation of paneer as i told earlier that protein protein as a colloidal system present hote hain and they they have the electrical charges on the surface of the protein molecules so like charges repel each other so they are disposed in the continuous phase of milk and when the charges on the dispersed protein molecules is neutralized by addition of acid protein flocculates and separates out as soon while preparing paneer iska matlab kya hota hai pa protein particles colloidal uh, as a colloidal system present hote hain to agar aap acid add kar doge to jo charges present hote hain protein mein वो न्यूट्रलाइज हो जाते हैं देन कॉन्सिक्वेंटली प्रोटीन फ्लोकुलेट्स हो जाते हैं और सेपरेट्स आउट फ्रॉम द मिल्क सो दिस रिजल्ट इन द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ पनीर सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस वॉज माई लेक्चर ऑन कोलाइडल सिस्टम गो थ्रू दिस लेक्चर एंड हैव एनी क्वारी जस्ट आस्क मी थैंक यू